For this workflow, we're going to be working with shoulder pads created from multiple pattern pieces made of fabrics with various levels of thickness. We'll start by using a pen tool and drawing an internal line in the middle of the shoulder pad, then we'll extend it to the edge. We'll stitch the internal line to the shoulder line of the jacket. Let's change the shoulder pad to the right layer in relation to the rest of the outfit. It needs to be in a lower layer. Change the pattern piece grid of the shoulder pads. It will help to define them cleanly. Now we'll prepare the fabric for our shoulder pads. Clone any fabric, and with this fabric selected, go to Fabric Physics. Click the magnifying glass to replace the fabric, and choose Miscellaneous and Foam from the drop-down menu. Change its thickness to 10 millimeters. We'll assign the newly set fabric to the shoulder pads. Check Use in 3D and simulate the garment. To be able to see the inside of the jacket better, we increase transparency of the fabric. To achieve the gradient of thickness that the shoulder pad has, we'll select the edge of the shoulder pad and clone edge by offset a couple of times. After that, we'll slice the lines to create different sections. We'll need to stitch all of the new sliced pieces again to the shoulder line. Now we can dress the avatar and view the new simulation. To create the gradient thickness, we'll clone the foam fabric and create a couple of new fabrics. For each fabric, we'll edit the thickness in the physics settings. We'll set a different color for each of them for better orientation and rename them accordingly. We'll create a thickness of 8, 5, 3, and 1 millimeters, and we'll assign the fabrics to the sliced shoulder pad in a gradual way. By slicing the shoulder pads into multiple sections and using fabrics with different thicknesses, We'll mimic the layering, which is typical for real-life shoulder pads. And there you have it, an easy way to create shoulder pads.